School of Dragons. Today we're gonna take a look at the new dragon, the Eruptodon. Let me see if I can land him here, there we go. This is a boulder class dragon and the biggest of its kind in pure mass. Like you might be able to say that the screaming death is longer, definitely, but in mass and in size, this guy is the biggest dragon we have in all of school, I dare say. I'm pretty sure this guy is the biggest because he is massive. He's colossal, just look at that face. I could fit like five Vikings into that mouth. He is absolutely huge and very stunning. Um, something I noticed almost right away was the tongue looked very interesting. As you can see right there, it has like several different like tips that are spread out. It looks really, really cool. Oh my goodness. Could you come back? Okay, we're gone, we're gone. All right, we are back. And you probably noticed that Buck, when you hatches it, the baby, the eye sticks out in weird places. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're gonna get that fixed. But it's kind of terrifying. It kind of ruins the beautiful moment of dragon birth. And this baby just looks like a demon from another world. Uh, but the adult has no bugs whatsoever. And it has it, oh, its own individual uh, animation and it is very smooth. Just look at those legs move and the tail waging back and forth. It looks stunning. It's really, really nice animation. At first, I hated this dragon. I'm not even gonna lie, I hated it. I was like, this is the ugliest dragon ever. I'm never gonna like this. But now I actually really, really like it. I don't know why. I mean, just look at it. How can you love a face like that? He is so weird looking and so big. But for some reason, I just, I guess it's just the way he stands with those really powerful legs and the long tail. Looks like a really overweight raptor, like a really overweight dinosaur. Um, but I really like him and the, the spikes, I'm, I'm, I love those. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm die, I would die for those spikes. They are so cool because they're so big, but they're not really pointy, they're more cut off. So they really look like rock, like really kind of ancient, kind of fossil light. It gives a really nice touch to this guy. And also, it's kind of something we don't see that often with boulder cast dragons, like these really strong prominent spikes that are the only this dragon has, and then it has this kind of rock texture all over him. So like, it's very, these spikes are very prominent and very clear, and I really like them, and you can sit on him without hurting yourself. So isn't that just wonderful? Uh, the wings have these kind of small boulders almost on, at the tip of them, instead of like a claw, and has these small boulders, which, which also gives, you know, adds to the rock kind of feel to this dragon and uh, kind of makes him look also kind of smooth instead of like a spike going up just a rock pattern that you can feel all the way through him he has small arms down here with uh, three claws i think uh yeah very cute i don't know what he's going to use those for he looks kind of like a t-rex with like the small arms that are just there for some reason and then these really powerful legs which also has the idea of those claws that are kind of rounded and not necessarily pointy and stabby like uh, which looks really cool really strong hind legs he has like that thigh is so powerful able to carry this huge dragon and when he walks he looks very powerful and very fabulous at the same time so you win on both sides of that the wings are cool you can see that the um he has several different of those spikes of those fingers going out from the wing uh, which makes him look kind of bad like but also gives him more of the dragon feeling because he is such a unique creature it makes him look more uh dragonic like like the rest of the dragons. Um, the coloration options on him are really good. You can get some really cool fates and that lava touch that you have down here, as you can see all the most like veins of lava going out on him on the wing. Looks really, really cool. Again, animation, stunning. Absolutely flawless. It looks so good. It fits this guy so well. The wings look amazing. He is a bit of a big guy to be gliding, but we've seen that so many times before that, you know, that's just the dragons can do that because they're magical creatures, so you can't really deal with that and it's not as bad as the thunder peat which wings were like super tiny so i can deal with this one because he does regularly flap too uh diving is great looks really cool big dragon just going down at it uh i, I mean amazing and he shoots out much like the grunkle he shoots out lava because this guy has a diet based on lava alone as it seems uh, and it's kind of like this boulder of lava i would say it explodes really really powerfully uh, so he's a really, really, you know, this is a strong dragon. This is like probably one of the strongest boulder class dragons we have around. 
really big dragon and a really, really powerful dragon. And just look at those legs going on when he's flying. Like, perfect, streamlined, as much as he can be with his huge size. I mean, amazing. I don't know, I understand why people wouldn't like this dragon, but for some reason, I'm just in love with him. I think he is great. He's, he's definitely one of my favorite boulder class dragons, that's for sure. But let's take a look at his stats and see how fast he actually is. Okay, so here we have the stats of the Erupted on. Like I said, boulder class dragon, max speed is 7.5, pitch rate is 5, turn rate is 6.3, and acceleration is 3.2, and firepower is 5.7. Excuse me. I don't know if you can hear the rain, but it's raining a lot here, so I was closing the window because the sound was extreme. Uh, so pretty much average stats, they're very similar to the Cinch Tail, so it's pretty much gonna be maybe he's an average Razor, which is kind of impressive for a guy that's so big. But let's just go ahead and check him out in Thunder Run Racing. Alright, we are getting ready right away, wonderfully, and we are ready to test out. Head up to Donny and see what he can do. Let's go. Our slow start. His acceleration needs to kick in uh, before it's okay. Now it's picking up speed. Yeah, definitely. Okay. okay. It's not super fast, but uh, he's all right. And we have a speed up. That's very nice. Should save that for a little while. We're number two right now, which is good for for a dragon this big. Racing against monsters and nightmares. We'll see when he get his acceleration. Oh no, 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 no. Did we hit that? I think we hit that. Alright, we're gonna use a speed boost next time we get around with that. He turns pretty well. He has a pretty good uh, turn and pitch. Yeah. Turns very good. No problem there. Oh, we have two feet. Um, so yeah, but definitely not the fastest racer. He is, I would say, he's probably average. I mean, the Monster's Nightmare is the fastest of the, um, of the hatchery dragons, the one you get, you can pick at first. Uh, so he is, that, that dragon is decent. But, oh my god, I use, uh, well, Oh god, alright. Now we are in the game again. Alright, let's see if we can hold this, just in speed. Against the monsters now. Care okay, careful. Okay, never mind. <laughs> He's, that's also a downside. He is so big that, like in small passages, it's easy for you to bump into things. That's definitely something to keep account for. Uh, so yeah. He's not. He's not the best racer. That's for sure. But I mean, none of the boulder class really are. There's not really any boulder class that's extremely fast, so it's pretty common for the class. So that was racing with the Eruptodon, and like I predicted, he's not super fast, but he is. He's still, you know, he can keep up with some dragons, and if you have a lot of speed boost, then I think you're good to go because his turn is really great. But definitely not one of the most flawless racers because he is huge. I mean, just look at his size. He's absolutely ginormous. So that's something to keep in mind if you want to have a racing dragon, he's probably not your guy. But if you just want to have a really, really funny and amazing bold, boulder class dragon, then he's definitely be your guy. Because I love this guy and he is definitely one that I'm going to use outside of racing because he is so cute and he's so great and he's just so diverse. I don't know why or what it is, but I just really like him. Let me know what you think about him down in the comment section below. If you are like me, just really like him. Or if you are not one for the Raptodon. Let me know anything you have to say. I will look forward to reading it. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. So long, Dragon Fighter!